Welcome to the Chromax Training Center. Today, Tony is going to walk you through our ultra performance energy system during two different types of repairs on one car. The ultra performance energy system is the most innovative in the market, which means it maximizes speed, minimizes energy consumption, and achieves outstanding end results without compromising quality. Tony has prepared the car ready for PS1081 4 or 7 ultra performance energy surfacer in the correct value shade. In case of any bare metals, he will use PS1800 metal pretreatment wipes, which replaces a wash primer, thus improves productivity. The second part of the job is a new bonnet to be coated with NS2081 4 or 7 ultra performance non sending surfacer which for this car is a real value shade one. This delivers the fastest turnaround for new parts and the shortest possible paint process available. He will finalize the job with activated Chromax Pro base coat and CC6700 Ultra Performance Energy Clear, delivering a flawless mirror-like high gloss finish. Let me just remind you that the whole paint process is being sprayed and cured without force drying at 20 degrees C room temperature. Tony, let's get to work. Before I begin application, let's have a look at the job. The repair is finely sanded and well prepared and ready for undercoat. For the bonnet, I'll come back to that later. I'll start by using the wipe on the bare metal and after a very short flash off, I'll apply the surfacer or filler. Make sure the repair is properly clean before using the pre-treatment wipe. The wipe itself is there to apply a corrosion protection layer and is not for cleaning the surface. The wipe itself only needs to be used on the bare metal area. When dealing with a larger repair, you can use a cross wiping technique to ensure complete coverage. Each of these wipes will treat approximately two square meters of bare metal. With this one, I'm gonna put it back into a plastic bag and seal it, then I can use that on another job at a later stage. This means no waste, no mixing or spraying of acid etch primer, and no spray gun cleaning. Finally, as a, as a short reminder, just remember this needs to be overcoated with surface or filler within 15 minutes. Using this product is totally different to any filler or surfacer you might have used in the past. Normally a high build product is applied in single coats with an intermediate flash in between. With this, however, I can apply four coats without any flash whatsoever. But looking at this job with a polyester repair, I would normally spray one coat just to isolate the polyester itself, seal off any pores, and then depending on the film build I need, I'll spray two to three further coats, wet on wet. I'm using a 1.6 gun, and I'm gonna drop the pressure to one bar. That's the first coat applied, as you can see, a light to medium coat just to seal the surface. I'm just gonna give that a minute now before applying the subsequent coats wet on wet. That's the application done and as you can see it was very quick and very easy and has left a very very smooth surface. Ordinarily I could leave the car in here but as we need this cabin for another job I'm going to put this outside and I'm going to leave it to air dry for around 20 minutes in the conditions that we have in the shop. During this time, I'll prepare the bonnet for the wet on wet and I'll mix my colour ready to do the job. The car's now been standing in the workshop for 23 minutes and in that time, I've managed to prepare my bonnet for wet on wet, my colours mixed and ready to go. Now, just like any normal 2K surface or filler, I'm going to sand this in readiness for the top coat. So let me do that. The next time you see me, we'll be in the cabin, ready to go. I've mixed my wet on wet, the colour and the blender I need for the quarter panel. And now I have everything I need to do the job in the cabin with me. All products are mixed as described in the TDS. Please ensure the base coat is activated or hardened. Before I start application of the wet on wet, I had a few minor sand throughs to bare metal that I need to deal with. You'll remember before I showed you the wipe and I told you to place that in a plastic bag, seal it, and then you could use it again later. So that's what I've done. I've taken that, I've treated the metal in the same way. 
This new wet on wet is really nice to apply, has low viscosity and gives a nice smooth finish straight off of the gun. I'm using a top coat gun with a 1.3 setup. I'm going to adjust the pressure to 1.5 bar inlet. With the material I can spray it in one to two coats but my tip to you is to first spray a light coat followed then by an even closed coat. That's the car done, now back to the bonnet. As you can see, the wet on wet has flashed. There's a really nice smooth surface there. Remember, if there are any little pieces of dirt or any imperfection that you're not happy with, I could denib this now if I wanted to. The five minutes have passed. Let me get the base coat on and I'll come back to you after it's flashed when it's ready for clear. The final part of the job is of course the clear coat, which as I explained earlier, will be applied in a one and a half coat process and dried at 20 degrees C, giving you the greatest energy saving. I'm using the standard hardener, but as normal, please refer to the TDS, as this clear can be dried at higher temperatures if you want to maximize productivity. This time I'm using a 1.2 setup and will adjust the pressure to 1.8 bar. Take a little tip from me though, Try never to go over two bar with this clear coat. To apply it, start with a thin closed coat over the whole panel and then finish immediately with a full coat. Let me get on with this now and we'll take a look when it's dry. It's been 30 minutes since I finished applying the clear coat and all I've done is leave the booth running at 20 degrees C. As you can see, it's really dry and the finish is superb. All I need to do now is demask it and take it out of the booth. This has been dried for only 30 minutes and as no ramp up time to 60 degrees C was needed, the actual drying time is comparable to or even shorter than existing systems. I've left the car for another 15 minutes and now it's ready for reassembly and if needed, it can be polished. I hope you have seen the full benefit of the system. And as we can see, the end result is perfect and equal to, if not better than, existing or competitive systems whilst consuming minimal energy. The first thing I want to remind you is that this is a full system from wipes to clear coat. And only by using the full package can you really gain the full advantage and value that I've shown. 
The technical data sheets are key. Please read them as they contain all of the information that you need to follow what I have just shown you. There are big gains to every body shop with our system. No need for baking or IR drying of the 2K surfacer. Virtually no waiting time for top coating of the wet on wet. And with options to dry the clear from super fast to super energy saving without compromising the highest quality that you expect, this system can maintain your productivity and lower the ever increasing cost of energy. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.